Jamie, you just completed your fifth goal program treatment. So you are finished with the entire program with mm -hmm. us this week. Mm -hmm. um, how do you feel right now? I feel great. I mean, you know, it's, you know, it's not just the body. I mean, the body, yes, the pain is gone. But, you know, I also feel happier. So that, that's, that's a good thing. <laughs> it's a very good thing. Jamie, your overall experience with us mm -hmm. at the GOAL program, can you give us a description of what you think, what it's done for you? Well, yeah, yeah. Um, you know, of course, physically, and, you know, <laughs> as much as I hate being teased by the man over there, um, <laughs> he, he's given me, like, a, you know, a whole lot of flexibility and wonderful, you know, stretches and things to do now. And, it, <clears throat> and I've been practicing them, and, you know, it was late last night I had some trouble sleeping, and I actually utilized your stretches when I was getting starting to get stiff so that, I mean you know so it adds to the so that aspect of it you know is wonderful and then you have just the wonderful people and, and how compassionate and you know how humongous of a heart everybody here has and um, so that's you know that's another whole like aspect of it and then you know meeting and interacting with other people who are also going through similar you know things and seeing how not only am I doing better but how you know they're doing better makes me so so happy because mm -hmm. you know I mean there's nothing happier than to see somebody else also feeling good you know mm -hmm. so. and Jamie when you came in uh, with us Monday you actually had a cane mm -hmm. you had a pain level at seven or an eight you mm -hmm. said and what are you leaving us with, pain level wise? Probably a zero. I mean, I would say a zero. Um, like I, I was saying last You're night. You're allowed to. I know, I said zero. <laughs> but what I was going to say was, like last night, the, the only pain I noticed was the pain from using muscles that I haven't used in forever and like going places that I, you know, haven't gone to in a year, you know, a year or two. Right. So, so it's exciting. You look yes. really pretty. You yeah. look good today. And, and, and you know, I can tell when I see people on Monday and then I see them throughout the week. Usually Thursday and Friday, it's almost like they're a different person. Yeah, yeah. They feel better. Well, it's like you have a weight lifted off of you. I mean, because there is that, that whole, um, you know, the, the physical aspect, it, you know, hits you emotionally and, you know, spiritually and, you know, not having, not being able to interact with other people as much. So there, there's an aspect of this where it's getting people who are, you know, when you're in chronic pain, you get stuck at home. You get stuck with just your close, you know, only one or two people that you really see. And to bring you here and be able to interact with more people, too, it, it's another, you know, wonderful experience. Mm -hmm. Imagine what everybody's going to say when you get back to Oklahoma. <laughs> right. They haven't seen you for a week and you cruise in without a cane and just... Well, my mom's walking. picking me up and she saw me right before. It's so. going to be huge for her yeah. to see you change in one week. Yeah. Yeah. That's going to be great. <laughs> and, yeah, we're so happy for you, Jamie. So, looking back on my notes, mm -hmm. you had some left knee and the right knee hurt from mm -hmm. time to time. Mm -hmm. uh, the finger stiffness, mm -hmm. neck pain, shoulder pain, and you actually had some headaches. I know on day two, there was a little decrease um, in the back pain. Mm -hmm. Do you have any of those pains right now? Not really. Um, like, like I said last night, I started, my neck started to tighten up, but I tried utilizing some of his stretches and it actually did help. So, you know, it's like, like I said, it's, it's adding tools to the bag of tricks, you know, so it's good. Mm -hmm. How long has it been, Jamie, since you felt the way you feel? <laughs> um, since before I even had knee surgery. So we're talking, um, no, but October 2014, so two years. Two years. Yeah. Do you feel like these five days were totally worth the <laughs> amount of money? Yes, yes, I do. And, um, you know, uh, <laughs> the, I mean, just being the people here, you know, make it a huge difference. And the getting away from home, too. I think you can't say enough about getting to another sort of place, too, because, it, it, uh, you know, it allows you to relax and focus more, I think, in a way. Exactly, and that's what we really emphasize to people that inquire about treatment is how important it is to kind of leave all the things at home, at home, yeah. and focus on you for the whole five days because it really helps. Well, yeah, because you find so many things at home are like, you know, are like your crutches, you know, because you, you've, you've 
as you're living at home with a, you know, issues with your legs or you know your arm, you find ways of making do around home but if you're away from home I mean, it's like when i came here i haven't been upstairs in forever but i was forced to use them <laughs> the first day you said hey where's my room it's upstairs you went oh yeah, exactly exactly <laughs> but you here. know it's a it was a challenge and that was a challenge that i was willing to take and you know i, I um you know one thing that you know, really keeps me going is i hate it when people tell me i can't do something it's what drove me through school. It's what drove me, you know, through most things in my life. If you tell me I can't do it, I will prove to you that I can, and that's what I want from this. You know, it's, you know, here it is. I can do this, and I've been. I mean, it's, it's been hard, and you see me tearing up because uh, there's been so much I haven't been able to do. But <laughs> I mean, just in a couple of days, I've been able to do a lot more. So it's good. Do you feel like you're on a road? A different road now than what you were when you came in. Yes, yes. <laughs> you feel a lot of hope. You feel a lot of confidence in yourself now. Yeah, yeah. Do you have a better view or a different view on RSC and CRPS when you showed up? Yeah, I do. I do. Um, yeah, like I said, it's still devastating when you get it, but the fact that there is hope, mm -hmm. and, and I think that's something that's so hard to like grasp is that you don't have to be cut up to deal with pain. You don't have to have millions of injections to deal with pain. You don't have to take, you know, all these pills all the time to deal with pain because there's so many simple techniques, which I love. And like I said, I'm not, I'm not a person who, if you tell me I can't do something, you know, I'm the person who will go and try to figure it out. So this, this opens up a lot for me. Jamie, you're 33 years old. Mm -hmm. You should not be dealing with this much pain. No, and you know, and hope we can help you. Yeah, that we have helped you. Well, it, it, I mean, I, you know, before I came here, I felt like I was, you know, thirty three going on like eighty five. You know, I mean, I, 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 my grandmother and I would have, you know, my grandmother's eighty nine. We would have conversations about similar aches, pains, dealing with pains. <laughs> no, I'm not sure. kidding. Yeah. It's depressing. I mean, it's depressing. I've got quite a few, you know, I'm quite a few years younger. Quite a few. So it's horrifying when you start thinking about that, and and that, you know, clouds your, your feelings and your you know how, how you think about going to approach things so you know um, I, I can't say enough about this because now I feel I've, I'm starting to feel my own age again you know which before all this happened I could run around a whole office and yell at people all the time right and we, right. Want, we want you to be able to go back there yeah we yeah. do yeah and we've really enjoyed having you Jenny you've helped us <laughs> Just as well. Yeah, you've helped thousands and thousands and thousands of people. <laughs> exactly. And I hope I hope to continue that. You know, I mean, I plan on, I do plan on writing out my experiences. Um, you know, because I, I started a blog just to kind of cover this, and um, that's my my goal. And I want to keep tracking how I'm doing. You know, and it's a good way to do it, and, and it also opens it up to people. So I, I hope to keep you know giving people hope because it's it's not it's not easy. You see so many people so upset, so sad. And just to have the, the idea that there is something out there that can help, that's not a pain medication that maybe touches like eh, an eighth of the pain. If, you know, because when, when you're dealing with this type of pain, there's not much out there that really hits it, you know, not correctly. Not correctly, exactly. Yeah. So, one more question, Jamie. Mm -hmm. um, would you recommend our program? <laughs> Absolutely, absolutely. I would do anything for your program. <laughs> you guys know that. I would I would do anything I could because this program is really worthwhile. It truly is. And, you know, we, we talk about like mind-body spirit. It, it, it covers everything. And you're not focusing just on one little part of you. You're focusing on every aspect of you. You know, there's an emotional side. There's a mental side. There's a, you know, I'm retraining both my body and my brain. How, you know, about how I'm thinking. And I'm, you know, so it, it's amazing. Five so, days. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So seven and a half hours. Yep. Yeah, yeah, it's amazing. <laughs> it would be really, truly amazing. So, you know, I, I would absolutely recommend this and I plan on recommending this. <laughs> Thank so. you, Jamie. We've enjoyed having you and we're gonna keep up with you. Good, good. Thank you. Thank you.